some. Uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, compare tequilas, I have some nice eighteen hundred in there. <laughs> It'll be less cinnamony. <laughs> it also won't be as good. That's not a eighteen hundred. Unless you just love tequila, right? Is not a sipping tea, even though it's. For mixing, it's good. Yeah, it's, not many tequilas are, to my view, a good sipping drink. Well, you're not drink. Mexicano. No, I'm not. I know it's a shock to most people. Most people are very confused when I tell them I'm not. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directory. It's the Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thanks for Patreon. Follow your Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. What? Most people know who you mean I'm o- talking you to. You mean OnlyFans. That's right. That's pretty much what it is. There's stuff over there you're... I mean, if you want to reach out to me and have me respond, that's the only place it's going to happen. Uh, today we got a little uh, clip of Shao Khan. He's talking about his strong Delhi connection in this interview uh, with his normal witty deliciousness uh, down. And we've been to Delhi, so we're Deliites. Yes, we have. Is that what the, Deliites? Deli, is that what it is? Deliites? Or maybe they're just called rowdies. India uses that know. word a lot. They do. Rowdy. They do use rowdy a lot. Yeah. And oh, Johnny would know. She's a, not here right he's now. He's a rowdy. Yeah. They, it's a, uh, what was it they said? Uh, it's funny because it's not a very dangerous term, but in Papua New Guinea, it's not... Oh, rascals. Oh, yeah, rascals. In Papua New Guinea, they call the really dangerous gang kind of people... Rascals. Rascals. You rascal! Like, like they say, you got to be careful for the rascals. And it's like, what, the little spanky and alfalfa coming to get us? <laughs> From Delhi, so I used to walk like that. Just and I, so I stood and I was, and I said, Yes, what's this? I said, Patoline! <laughs> Cut it off, I'm here. Hold on. This what? Can you share with us the kind of college kid you were? Tempestuous. I won't add on to the adjectives you tell us yourself, and how you've designed yourself uh, as a superstar. No, I was always like this, very elegant, always. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely educated. St. Stephen's wanted me to study there, but I said no. Yeah. I <laughs> like <laughs> 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 I, you know, I, I don't know how to describe, I don't know how many of the people here at the Think Fest are from Delhi, they will understand. Um, are there lots of Delhiites here? Ah, there you go, Delhiites. Got it! I'm a Delhi boy. So, uh, uh, there is a bit of... Uh, I'm a Desi uh, girl. <clears throat> I'm a, a Desi Delhi girl. Me. And uh, I, I think, uh, in, in a nice sense I say, please, uh, I, I think I'm a Delhi ka gunda. <laughs> Delhi mein jo bhi paida hote hain, bade hote hain, wo gunda hi hote hain. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was kind of like that, brought up like that. I was in an Irish brother school, so I was having this strange uh, dichotomy of being brought up where you know everything was where you know everybody spoke like that and talked like that, and you know in the morning we said the morning prayer and your shoes are not shined, Mr. Khan. So I was called Mr. Khan even. As a matter of fact, I was called Mr. Shah. Because, uh, yeah, because we don't write Khan till you're 18, so my name was Shah Rukh, and my Irish brothers thought that either my name is Mr. Shah, my parents' name, or Mr. Rukh. So, I, yeah, so I was like, you know, Mr. Shah. So I was Gujarati for a, a part of my <laughs> <laughs> So I, uh, uh, so I, you know, I, I used to play hockey, and, you know, in Delhi, everybody just fights for their rights. <laughs> so, in a nice way. And, um, you know, so uh, I was brought up like that. When I came to Mumbai, I got into a lot of fights, a lot of fights. And uh, I didn't understand the stardom stuff. I'm from Delhi, you know, you talk nicely, everybody has to be well-mannered. I'm very well-mannered. I'm very courteous. I'm very, you know, that's the upbringing I have in the Irish brother schools in Columbus. So, so I'm very well-mannered, but but the music mujhe samaj nahi aati. So the first time when I came, I remember there was a magazine which I was just talking about. Uh, downstairs uh, with Tarun and everyone, where, where they kind of uh, put me on the cover of a magazine and had written a line that I had sort of been, uh, uh, how, how do you put it, decently in a thing first, uh, physical with a uh, co actress. Yeah. And I hadn't you been. You don't have to get that decent. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
So I was banging the shit out of this. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Freaking love the guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was spectacular. I've just been married. I've known my wife when she was 14. I just got married. She was about 22 for her. This guy becoming a movie star. What you think mm. of Hollywood or in that time it was just the Indian film industry. And you know, she was so uh, worried. Will I be doing what supposedly movie stars will do and do in the films apart from acting? And this whole thing came out, and I'm like, you know, but this is not true. And so I called up this lady, and I said, um, you know, why have you written this? So she said, Charu, it's a joke. She said, it's a joke, but it's not funny. I, lady, do you hear me talking and uh, laughing? And I wasn't saying it like this. My Delhi wali kata, teri <laughs> it wasn't her mistake, I think, but she didn't understand what I was talking because, you know, I was speaking in Delhi language. And when I went there, I fought. I beat up people and I did some really, really nasty stuff, which is a natural thing that Delhiites do. They don't know in the other parts of the country it's considered nasty. <laughs> so I, I behaved really badly and uh, I was jailed. Oh. And uh, I, uh, my, my father-in-law had given me, as they do in Delhi, in Punjabi weddings, a sword to carry on the ghori when I got married to my wife Gauri. And um, uh, I carried that sword to that journalist's house. <laughs> You're exaggerating now. Yeah, my father-in-law had told me, uh, he's an army officer, so he said, son, make sure you protect my daughter. <laughs> so nobody was saying anything to her daughter, but I... <laughs> I thought this is a good weapon and uh, it's sanctioned by the Indian Army. <laughs> <laughs> so I went there and um, I remember that young boy, uh, he's shifted to Vancouver since then. Uh, yeah, but I talk to him now, now that I've become a gentleman. Um, so he, he was sitting there and, you know, in his shorts and the whole office was sitting there and I took, it was a kukri actually, it was not even a sword. So I took the kukri and I stuck it between his legs. <laughs> And I don't know why, like an idiot, now that I think of it, I looked at his parents and I said, you know, I'm gonna cut him up. And, and the poor, you know, this old couple were just sitting, they didn't understand anything. They were like, you know, so many other people have come for dinner and a chat. <laughs> why is this gentleman behaving like this, beta? And why is he trying to do this with his sword between your legs? <laughs> And uh, so I got into a big fight and then one day, I was next day, and I thought I've done the Delhi Wali thing. Like kind of, I've repeated my dialogues at MCA. <laughs> and all I did all that stuff. And then I went away thinking I won this battle. Next evening I was shooting for a film called Kabhi Haan Kabhi Na, which is one of my favorite films. And I was doing a show, uh, I was acting like a comic dawn. Uh, ironically, and cops came who were very sweet. And they talked to me, they took pictures with me, and then they said, you know, Saab ne aapko bulaya hai. So I said, yeah, yeah of course, I'll come. Yeah. My mother was a magistrate. I've been in jail in Delhi many times. And my mother, uh, you know, these things work in Delhi. You can kind of make a call and say, meri mummy magistrate hai. So, <laughs> <laughs> so for a few fights and all, my mother had get, gotten me out of uh, the lockup. So uh, mom wasn't alive, but they took me, and they, and they took me after six o'clock, so I can't get bail. And uh, so, <laughs> I remember I, <laughs> uh, there's this gentleman, uh, Inspector Mr. Khan, and I went in and, you know, with my swagger, this was the chair, he was standing there, and I'm like, yeah. No, I was from Delhi, so I used to walk like that. Just to so I stood and I was, and I said, yes, what's this? I said, Patolin! <laughs> Cut it all up, y'all! And I'm like, aaj meri maa zinda hoti na. <laughs> so, so he put me in a lockup, and then he said, you're allowed to make one phone call. And that's when I realized I'm cut out to be a Hindi film hero. Because instead of making that one phone call to my family, friends, or any lawyer that I would have had, which I didn't, I made the call to that guy who had reported me. <laughs> and I said, Saleh, now to jail. Bhi chala gaya <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I do remember that I went back to the guy's house. There were cops outside his house. 
and I asked for a light from one of the cops who was very still, oh, Shahrukh Khan, Shahrukh Khan, he lit my cigarette. I opened the window, looked at that guy, I said, I'm coming and get you now. I'm going to be very mean to you. I threatened the, everyone in their office. But then, you know, it so happened that I was, really, they put my fingerprints and, you know, then this uh, Inspector Hansap told me, revenge tastes the sweetest when it is served cold. <laughs> so, that was the first thing that I was waiting for that when will come back to Vancouver. Wow, I did not. <laughs> did no I did, idea. I did not <laughs> think he had that kind of like mean streak in him. My takeaway is I was banging the shit out of this girl. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious love it uh, you don't normally see like movie stars especially in india break like that yeah that was fantastic that was funny yeah i didn't know you he was like he was kind of like oh he thought he was a bad boy, a bad boy. Oh, a little bit yeah uh i'm guessing that was probably in the tabloids oh i'm sure around the time yeah well i guess does india have tabloids are they called tabloids though or are they just news it's called news. <laughs> news. Yeah. It's do you not the... read the Times of India on? I do not. Yeah, no. Go to go to the entertainment section of the Times of India. Half of the segments are paparazzi tabloid stuff. Well, we have whole channels dedicated to that. Yeah. TMZ. E but yeah, TMZ. no. Like half the stories in the entertainment section are gonna say things like, uh, "Great, look at the great bathing suit pictures of Creedy," and I'm sure they were yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. Well. They were probably yeah. great. Yeah. Very entertaining. They might have been great photos. Yeah. I didn't see them. Uh, is that what they were though today? No, 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 no. <laughs> that was not today. But it's I've seen stuff like that or gossip. Uh, it's ridiculous. Like see what uh, um, Radhika said about the Pika, and you get on there, and it's, she was just talking about how happy she is for her new show. But it's the headline is Radhika talks about the Pika. Got to get those clicks. Oh yeah. Got to get those clicks, baby. Yeah. Anyways, fluff is what we like to call that. Um, want to want to interview him so much. Not me. In person. Oh, well. <laughs> in person. We don't in, want in you the here, lair. Mr. Shah Rukh Khan. Anyways, let us know what other uh, videos of Shah Rukh Khan, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shah Rukh, as he was called in school, Mr. Mr. Rukh. Mr. Rook? Will be nice, though. Don't cut us in the groin area. Please do, actually. That'd be cool. All around my How'd you lose your testicles? Well, Shah Rook Khan was on the show, and I said something insulting. Anyways, let us know uh, what other videos of his that should be our next Shah Rook Khan movie that we should watch. Let us know down below.